Okay, time for the watch review. The Aquinas Emergius. I am going to take it off. Show it once again as best as my crappy lighting can. <coughs> it's a diver's watch. What I like about it is it has the date, as in the day of the month. Doesn't have the day of the week, doesn't have what month it is. But you look at it and it tells you, okay, this is the seventh of the month. The bezel rotates, which I've never had before. Overall, it's decent. I would prefer if instead of having a 60 minute mark, it had an arrow pointing down. It will make it a little bit easier to put precisely where I want it. But considering how rarely I have to use it, I'm nitpicking. The bezel sometimes rotates a little too easily. I'll be at work, look at my watch, and uh, I like to keep the 60 mark minute mark at the 12 hour mark just for convenience, I guess. And once in a while, it'll the bezel will move, and the 60 will be somewhere around this area. Not a big deal. Easy to rotate. What I really like about it is the luminescence. The hour, minute, and second hand are luminescent. I really like that the second hand is luminescent. It's a nice added bonus. And the hour mark, say for the, can't really see there, but for the three o'clock, which shows the, um, the date of the month, illuminescent as well. Very easy to use overall. It has, I believe, a 36 or 38 hour life. 40 rotations will put it up to max. I usually will rotate it significantly more because I find one twist is not a full rotation so I'll rotate it about 80 when I have nothing to do and I'm just pretty much fiddling like I am now. Because it's a diver's watch the dial right here is a rotator or whatever it is. You can tell I know very little about watches. Yep, push it in, twist, and it'll screw on and that way no water will get in. It'll make it significantly more waterproof. 200 meters, I believe. Yeah, 200 meters. So good to go swimming, good to go boarding, I guess. But uh, I don't try and get it wet even though it'll be safe. I don't even shower with it. I take all my watches off when I shower. I find trying to screw the rotator cap or whatever it is in can be a little finicky, but again, that's nitpicking. Very easy to put on and put off, though, when your nails are short, getting the uh, Latch off can be somewhat of a hassle, but that's not the problem of the watch, that's the problem of me clipping my nails too short, I guess. Again, nitpicking. I like it a lot. It's my overall everyday watch, so thus far it's the watch that I will wear when I'm working, wear when I'm out and about. 
It is a heavy watch, so, and it's a metal strap. I understand why it's a metal strap. You're not going to want a leather strap for a diver watch, but as you can tell, because it's leather, it doesn't exactly fit tightly. I have it at the tightest setting, and I'd say I'd have overall large wrists, and it still sort of rotates, but that's to be expected with a metal strap that isn't, like, stretchy or what have you. Because it's so heavy, though, there was one day at work where I was pretty much, I had to do a lot of slamming down like this. And I find because of that, the watch would sort of slam down on my wrist and it was sore. Uh, not very painful, but a step or two above uncomfortable. It wasn't a discomfort, it was a very, very mild pain. But, considering what I was doing and the fact that I'm wearing a diver's watch at work where I sometimes have to do a lot of slamming down like that, that's really my own fault, not the watches. But, just throwing that out there. Final rating, um... This is going to, all my watch ratings are going to be a personal rating, not a professional rating, because... I wear watches for my personal use, I am by no means a professional diver. This is my personal opinion rating. No professional aspect at all. Um, easily an 80 out of 100. I like it. I forget how much it costs. I think it's 845 American, so on the higher end of low to medium budget for watches. I am by no means a rich man. Is it worth the value? Um, I got a deal for it. I paid less than half the price. So, the value I got is definitely worth it, but if you were to pay retail, I must confess it'd be a bit of a stretch. But also bear in mind, I don't dive. Oh, one thing I really like about this. The luminescence lasts. I will have, well, pretty much put it under a light to get it to essentially charge the clones of dark dials. When I put it on before I head to bed, when I wake up in the morning, many, many hours later, it's still glowing. And it's glowing quite brightly. So, now that I mentioned that, Maybe the value might be a little worse, a little bit more for its money. Bear in mind, I don't know. I'm ignorant on watches, and as I continue to do this, I will still be essentially ignorant when it comes to watches. But I do like it. When you put it up to your ears, there's a slight ticking sound, but very faint. You don't hear it tick when you are basically wearing it daily. Like, I don't, I'm not even hearing it ticking now. I, no tick. I can hear it ticking from here. Very faintly. 
the second hand is quite smells. One thing is that I don't know if this is possible with luminescent diver watches, but the bezel indicators don't exactly glow. What I noticed is the glowing from the dials will make the luminescent dials pop, not like they basically shine, not glow, but shine. I don't know if it won't be possible. Maybe there's it'd be too expensive or there's issues with luminescence rubbing off or breaking or what have you, but if we were to use the bezel often and in the dark, like you're, say, diving, I can certainly understand a great benefit of having the dials glow. Not just shine, but glow. But then again, I'm not a diver. I rarely, if ever, use the bezel. I think I used it once as a Pretty much I was told, like, uh, wait five minutes, so I put the bezel on the minute hand and check, use that as, as a bit of a timer. Which I was, admit, it was ridiculous. All I had to do was look at my watch, okay, it's blah, blah time, wait five minutes, but using the bezel does help. I will admit using the bezel as a timer it does make it a little easier in case you forget or what have you. One major inconvenience is because I sleep with this watch and use it often, sometimes my beard and even my hair will snag on the watch, snag sort of in the bezel. Not a deal breaker overall, but kind of amusing in a negative way the few times it does happen. So yeah, definite solid watch. The price I paid great value, the price retail pushing it in my opinion for all i know it's a great value for all i know it's a significantly terrible value i'm not a diver and i can't stress enough i paid well under half plus i got the warranty as well i think it comes with a five-year warranty maybe a two-year warranty I've had no issues with it. It's easy to set up. So long as you remember to unscrew the rotator cap. I don't know what it's called. Okay, let me be more specific. I forget what it's called. And remember to wind it when you're fidgeting like me. It'll last forever. I don't know how accurate it keeps, but I've been using it for well over a month and find the accuracy overall very, I'm not complaining. So, yeah. And right now I'm having an extremely difficult time. There it goes. When you do screw the um, cap in to make a waterproof, which I don't necessarily have to do, it's just... I do it more as a safety measure in case having it open will break it. But when you do, you'll hear a little... fear and feel a little pop and That's when you know it's more than likely going to wind in, so as long as you remember to keep pressure on it. 
I like the style, save for the metal wrist, but I understand it's a diver's watch, you're not going to want leather. Overall, I personally enjoy it. And as I said, it's the watch I wear when I'm working. Right now, anyways. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.